Hello and welcome to another episode of Sly Raccoon. I'm Octorax and this is Sly Raccoon. We're gonna jump right in as we do in all these openings. We're going to China. Travel plans to China have all been The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on the Panda King. Born penniless, he was fascinated by the fireworks rich noblemen set off every New Year's. He spent a decade learning the art. But when he tried to offer his fireworks to the noblemen, they couldn't see past his shabby clothes and chased him away. Humiliated, the Panda King took revenge on those who shunned him by using the very tools of his art for crime. The Fetish Five recruited him as their demolitions expert, and from then on, his explosive touch became feared worldwide. He's rumored to be perfecting some new firework technique high in the unstable Kunlun Mountains of western China. Sly Cooper in... Fire in the... Sky. I was gonna say air at first, but no, it was sky. Fire in the sky. That sounds dangerous. Dangerous. Okay, let's do this. What enemies do we, we have? Flipping bitches. Okay. I am not for all that. Let's take these blue bottles. We are flipped too. There you go. Yeah, I see you, Bottles. You cannot hide from my sight. Hadn't I not go back, I would have missed five bottles. That is so cruel! Using his babies to... as ammo. Fuck you, guy. That is so cruel. But no. Not really, Bentley. Yeah. That poor village just got buried in freezing snow. Mm-hmm. From that giant statue, and you can bet the Panda King lit the fuse. I've got to find my way up there. Wow, do you think from the giant statue of Panda King could it be Panda King? Nah, nah, it's Raleigh. He's back. It's Raleigh. It's definitely him. He has tricked us all this time. It is Raleigh. Screw you, guy. It's so cruel launching your babies at your enemies. I'm doing I'm doing a favor by killing this guy. Fuck you man Oh There's down where we started. That's cool. And I probably wanted to go down there. Goodbye! <laughs> Shit. Okay, let's try that again. Slashing all the signs for coins. I didn't know you could kill those guys. I'm just gonna dodge them because I want them to stay alive. They have done me no harm. It's their parent. I don't know if it's a guy or a girl. But it's their parent who is an evil mastermind who... Maybe not mastermind is the wrong word. Who uses their children, their offspring as ammunition for their evil crimes. That is just cool. Okay, got to dodge the ice picks. Okay, missed me. Miss me, you fucking icicle. Yeah. And there there's two. There's a mom and a dad and launching twins. Ain't that just precious? No, it's not. Fuck you. Fuck you. Ooh, fireworks. Let's see this. He's beautiful. Die, he's beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, let's blow this shit up. Yeah. Oh, no, the coins. What if that rocket had, like, missed so I couldn't jump up here? What would happen then? Exactly. I would have to go home and think about my problems. Don't see me. You don't see me. 
You don't see me standing here. What song is that? I don't even know. I don't even know if I sang it correctly. Anyway, we have some sneaky, 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 sneaky. I am so sneaky. You can't even. I'm. I'm too sneaky for you. Yay, yeah, dude! Dance a little bit. Gotta have some entertainment. And now we blow these blow these guys up with <sighs> rockets or fireworks, rather. Yeah, fuck you guys. Yes. That actually worked. Gotta get all of the bottles. Okay, we have the vault already, but we are missing 16 bottles. And there's the end. That might seem like a bad thing, but actually, there's two right here, and uh, we have to make our way through this place, which has a lot of uh, bottles. So, fuck you, guy, and fuck you. You can't even touch me. I have the most skill. You don't even know. I'm trying to sound threatening. It doesn't really work out, does it? There you go. Kill that guy. I think there's just two guys left. I think that bottle. I take your butt. Uh, now there's two guys. Kill that guy. Kill that guy. That wasn't that hard. And we get the key. Yep. Yeah. I thought I would never tire of that sound, but actually it's getting pretty annoying. I don't know why. Trying not to kill myself right now. Ah, uh, that was close. That was even closer. That actually killed myself. Okay, I don't need that many more. There is one there, I see it. Don't kill yourself. Okay, I need one more. It's probably scattered around here somewhere. Oh, little clue bottle! Yoo-hoo! Hello! No? He 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 hello? Ah, uh, there you are! I see you dancing! I see you sexy dancing! Yeah, girl! Let's open this vault! See what we got! We are getting to the end of the game! This is the... Uh, next to last world and uh, the last one is uh, shorter than the other ones it's it's kind of special world or an area I don't know what to call it I mean we're in China and next time we're gonna be in Russia so ah uh, Huckleberry Cooper Nice! Huckleberry Cooper. That is hilarious. That is like Huckleberry Finn. I can be invisible, by the way. I have that. I have so. I have so much sneak skill that I can be invisible. Let's just. Okay, maybe just open the door then. Why don't they put, like. There's one key here, why don't they just put two locks on this thing? Because, I mean, the key apparently only works on one lock. I don't know. This is kind of a hub world. I guess. Hello. Giant monkey man. Goodbye. Oh. There's a thing up here. I didn't see that. Okay. Nice job breaking into the pan of King's compound. I think I figured out a way to get to the top of that giant statue, but unfortunately, it's obstructed by this reinforced ceiling hatch. No problem. 
They seem to have plenty of firepower around here. But you need keys, of course. More treasure keys to get at it. Duh, because that's what you need all the time. King of Hell, I fear that this is what I think it is. Is it? No, it's this. Okay, yeah, I'm good with this. I've played this before, Bentley. It, I was about to say that. Fuck you, Murray. Okay. We have really sneaky music hit right now. See if we can snipe all of these noobs. Don't hide behind bells. We have to shoot the rockets too. Yeah, that's the thing. I think they're coming behind. No, oh, that wrong way. I was looking the wrong way. Got him. This is much harder than the first one. Don't you dare do it! That's my friend! Fuck. Damn it. Okay. That is just great. Wonderful. If you die, Murray, we get a game over. So that's not good. Don't touch my friend. It's good that I have unlimited ammo on this thing, too. I know you're back there. Oh, I knew it. Thanks. Like Murray, move. And I'll kill you. Okay, we got him farther. Farther. I like it. Oh shit! I was looking forward. Okay. Hey, uh, hey, Murray. I mean, this is very weird because in later games, I, as I probably said before, you can play as Murray, and he's like the most badass character you can be. Because every enemy is like the other characters like takes multiple hits to uh, kill uh, enemies. Uh, Sly and Bentley, they, they have to. Attack them several times. Murray have to attack the big enemies, which take like five hits to take down in two hits. So why does the most badass guy is the coward in this game? I never understood. Oh, we got double. We got double. Okay, where where does he go? Oh, he just flies up there. Okay, get the key. It's right there. Just go get the key. Uh, for fuck's sake, Murray. No, you do not. It zooms in weird, so I can't see where they're coming from. You have to have your eyes peeled at all times. You kill all the bitches. In the hood. There, up there. There you go, and that guy. I think this is randomized too. So, you can't... Be sure where they show up. There you go. Good job, Murray. Even if you just walked and I did all the stuff. Anyway, good job, still. Inside the stronghold. <laughs> ha I don't know if we have time for one more. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? Let's kill this off guy. Okay. The Unseen Foe. This sounds interesting. Oh, it's this one. Oh, it's because I can be invisible. Yeah, I get it. 
But this door is locked. I can't get in there. How am I supposed to get in this house? I simply don't know. Through the window. That first time I played this, that seriously took me like five minutes to figure out. I am that dumb. I was a stupid kid. Fuck. Yeah, I noticed that. Thank you, Bentley. Also got a game over, so that's fun. <sighs> I wonder how many game overs I gotten I have gotten in this game. I don't even know. Maybe four or five, possibly. I mean that is way too much. Fuck you. There you go. I don't how many clue about thirty in this level. What's cool about this level is that you go upwards all the time. You never like go on a in a straight line. You always uh, try to excel upwards, which I always thought was cool. Because if you look at this, we go in a spiral up towards the top of the building. And uh, when we get up here, we get around town. Because there is that's the way we came in. And now we gotta kill the guy in here. I mean, we don't got to. But if we want the bottles that he's protecting, we want to. And I do want the bottles. So, uh, fuck you, guy. <laughs> There you go. Okay. You don't you don't want to be sparked in the in the butt. So that is that is my tip of the day. Tip of the day from Octoax, the guy of the best tips. I don't know. Fuck you. It really help. It kind of it helps both a little and much that you can move with the technique uh, the moving visibility technique that I showed off twice now I don't know why don't ask me why I said don't ask me why stop it St I no stop I'm serious I'm mad at you go away no actually stay please stay I love you please come back fuck you guys <laughs> Uh, this this chick's trying to use karate. It ain't working out so good. And there's rockets. Also, I think you can jump up on this. Yes. To get some clue bottles. Yeah, have you clue bottle? Oh wait. I really suck at my English accents. I cannot do them good enough okay let's try to just kill off this guy and get the bottles now we only need 12 more can we find 12 in on this little tower because this is the uh, actually I was about to lie to you because this is not the final thing in the because we're going into the building, and if you can see down below, okay, there is where we started. Down here is where we started, I think. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just lie to you. I don't know. But we are trying to get all of these buttholes. Buttholes. <laughs> I just said buttholes. I didn't say bottles. I said buttholes. I'm sorry. That was very unintentional. I uh, apologize for my rudeness, ma'am, or m sir, if you take offense to this. I uh, will not do it again. And uh, that is that, because I am not immature enough to laugh at buttholes, even though I did. Uh, I am so mature. Not really. Okay, we just need three more bottles, and I think I know what power we get. I think it's the one I talked about earlier with 
in another in another episode with the uh, with the uh, jumping off. Uh, okay, I'm missing two. I am missing two bottles. Well, I'll see you back. I'll see you when I find them. No, oh, I missed the safe at the beginning of the level. Oh my god. Okay. Let's see if I was right about the thing. Oh my god, that is so clever. It is almost devilish clever. But only almost. I see what I did there. The six six six. Ha ha! I'm clever. Incredible! I never would have thought this was possible. Sir Augustine of Cooper's technique to briefly defy gravity. From now on, you should be able to pop right out of those bottomless pits. You yep. I was right. So, yeah, now I don't die if I jump off the thing. I'm not gonna try because this is like a tower and if I jump off and actually could land on something I probably will, so I'm not gonna try that. Instead I'm gonna jump down here. Fuck. Okay, there it is. That was actually pretty similar to the first level we did in this game. Which was like infiltrate the police station in Paris, if you remember. But I think that that will actually wrap up this episode of Sly Raccoon. These episodes are just getting longer and longer, aren't they? Well, thank you so much for watching this episode of Sly Raccoon. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.